So just in case anyone is sitting in the audience right now thinking to themselves, so what's with the Ellen DeGeneres knockoff as our guest speaker? <laughs> anyone was thinking that or perhaps whispering it to the person beside them. <laughs> Just in case there's any confusion about my identity, I think I'll start things off by reintroducing myself. My name is Susan Stewart and I am a comedian, an author and a speaker. And I write and speak about seeing the lighter side of life. And I'm very passionate about this topic because given all of the change and all of the adversity that we face, it can be very easy to take things too seriously, hey? Yeah, I think it's just really important for us to have a sense of humor and a positive outlook because let's admit it, life is no fairy tale. If you lose your shoe at midnight, that just means you're drunk. <laughs> Life dares us to complain every day, right? Multiple times a day. Like, I don't know about you, but I've thought about running away way more as an adult than I did as a kid. <laughs> you know what, ladies and gentlemen, may the negative people of the world inspire us to see the lighter side of life, to live well, to laugh lots, because we know all too well the impact people's energy has on others, right? Oh yeah, let's be very clear. Everybody brings joy to a room, either by entering <laughs> We've all got quirks, hey guys? We've all got, I've got quirks. Yeah, like I still have absolutely no idea how to fold a fitted bed sheet. <laughs> um, the only thing that I know how to do in an Excel spreadsheet is make the columns wider. <laughs> so basically what I'm saying is I, I don't have a lot of left brain skills. Um, this is really, this is the only thing I know how to do. No, honestly guys, if this comedy thing doesn't work out, I'm gonna have to go back to porn. <laughs> I don't think anyone wants that. <laughs> Last week, I accidentally put a sports bra on backwards, and it was almost okay. <laughs> I accept that, right? I accept that. But it's very important for us to accept our bodies as they are, especially in that moment when you see yourself in a photo. You ever had that little reality check? That little wake-up call? It's like, oh crap, that's what's going on? I realize I have reverse anorexia. <laughs> I think I'm thinner than I actually am. <laughs> Guys, you ever wish you were as fat as when you first thought you were fat? <laughs> ah, so we're, so we're thin days and we missed them. I would give anything to be that fat again. <laughs> but even though I'm 40, I still feel 20 inside until I find myself around a bunch of 20 year olds. I'm like, oh no, never mind, I'm 40. Did I really talk that quickly and that loudly? Wow. My friends have started to lie about their age. No, no, judgment, I just find it very odd how people lie about their age, claiming to be younger than they are. I just don't know if that's the most effective way to lie about your age. Like if I told you guys that I was in my early 30s, you'd be like, damn. <laughs> have been quite a partier. <laughs> Probably a smoker. Right? No, no, I think it's more effective to do it the other way. So when people ask me how old I am, I tell them I'm 57. <laughs> Look at me! Oh my God! It's freaking amazing! Look at me! But you know, the middle ages are a very funny thing. Little things get different. Like, like, like now going to the mall is really different. Like there are just some stores that are off limits now. Not officially, it's just that I feel awkward being in them. <laughs> like I got no business going into Abercrombie & Fitch, American Eagle, or Hollister. And I certainly got no business going into Forever 21. <laughs> Which is a total freaking lie, by the way. I just think it would be nice if they opened another store for us older gals. Forever 39. <laughs> we just sell wine and yoga pants. <laughs> hey, but you start doing things and saying things you never
never used to. Like now the only radio stations I listen to play the soft and easy favorites of yesterday and today. <laughs> like the other day I caught myself, you know, thinking, is it just me or is the grocery store playing really good music now? Like, that's amazing. It's my playlist. <laughs> and then of course, things constantly change, right? Technology constantly changes, right? Like not too long ago, our phone used to be that thing attached to the kitchen wall. Now we're walking around with all these little mini computers in our hands, right? An amazing time. But you know, let's admit it. These smartphones, they become a bit of an addiction, a bit of an obsession. Do you ever wish your partner would look at you? <laughs> Do you ever wish your partner would look at you the way that they look at their phone? It's like... <laughs> Just saying, some days I get jealous. I love texting. It's my favorite uh, way of communicating with people. Like, I have this beautiful iPhone, and the thing that I hardly use it for is to call people. <laughs> But you know, there are those times when you do have to call someone, right? Like, it's not appropriate to be discussing a certain matter, you know, in a text message, so you have to call them. <laughs> so I grab my phone and I dial the number, and as it's ringing, I do the prayer. <laughs> Anybody else here doing the voicemail prayer? Please don't pick up, please don't pick up, please don't pick up, please don't pick up. strategically call someone's landline when you're pretty sure they're going to be out somewhere. <laughs> But sometimes that plan messes up, right, and they answer, and you're like, oh, hi, I didn't think it'd be home. <laughs> There's a lot of things about people that can stress you out if you're not careful, if you take it too seriously. Like uh, socially awkward moments. Like when you bump into someone you haven't seen in a really long time, and they tell you you look wonderful and they don't. <laughs> Seriously, guys, like, what do you say in that moment, right? It's like, oh, thanks. <laughs> and look at you. <laughs> yeah, then there's the nosy people, hey? Always telling, you know, everything that you should be doing with your life. Now, you know, I get worked up about this one because I'm actually dealing with this right now. Because uh, right now, I find myself in a very positive, functional, fulfilling, healthy relationship. Well, there's a first time for everything. <laughs> and so when we go to weddings, the old people, they'll come up to me, and they'll poke me, and they'll say, you're next. It's like, oh, stay out of my business. It's so annoying. So to even the score, I do the same thing to them at funerals. <laughs> Every day, tell someone you love them, because life is short. But yell it at them in German. <laughs> because life is also terrifying and confusing. <laughs> When life gives you lemons, you slice up those lemons, you put them in a big glass of vodka, <laughs> and you tell everybody you're on a cleanse. If your cup is half full, you need a better bra. <laughs> um, raise your hand if when you get stressed out, you tend to eat more. Let me just see, let's just take a quick survey here. Really appreciate it, guys. Now you'll notice that not everybody here in the group put up their hand when I asked that question. And you know who the other people are, right? They're the drinkers. <laughs> Actually, the people that didn't put up their hand might be like me. Because when I do take things too seriously and I get caught up in all of that, you know, negative mind chatter, when I believe everything I'm telling myself, oh yeah, I lose my appetite. I go right off of food. Is there anyone like me here that just, you lose your appetite? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I like to call a crisis diet. <laughs> I'm an emotional wreck, but damn it, I look good. 
said, wow, I haven't worn these jeans in like two years. God, I wish I were happy. <laughs> oh, well, one out of two ain't bad, right? There's always a silver lining, right? It's like, oh, I'm so sad, but I'm skinny. <laughs> very important part of uh, your, you know, fostering your well-being is e eating healthy foods. Anybody else really concentrating on eating healthy? Yeah, I've been really focusing on eating whole foods. You know what whole foods are? And I don't mean eating a whole pizza. <laughs> Watch out, you guys. But you know what I say? Every pizza is personal sized, if you really believe in yourself. <laughs> I find dieting like riding a bike, right? A bike that's very hot and on fire, and the ground's on fire, and everything's on fire because I'm in hell. <laughs> you know how they say that nothing tastes as good as skinny feels? I actually agree with that, except for wine. Wine tastes like skinny can go screw itself. <laughs> if you had the choice between being skinny for the rest of your life or drinking wine, which would you choose? Red or white. <laughs> they say that uh, in order to gain the mental and health benefits of exercise, it's very important that you do it regularly. Regular exercise is defined by getting your heart rate up and your body all sweaty for at least 20 minutes several times a week. Now they say that you're most likely to engage in regular exercise if you choose an activity that you like to do. Makes sense, hey guys? Yeah. So right now I just want you to sit back and I want you to think about an activity that you like to do that gets your heart rate up and your body all sweaty. <laughs> just so you know, that activity actually does count. <laughs> Someone very excited over there. <laughs> but just so you know, there is a catch. You're gonna have to convince the other person to do it with you for at least 20 minutes, several times a week. <laughs> you might wanna start taking up Zumba. I mean, I'm a realist. So every morning, every morning I do five sit-ups. I know it doesn't sound like much, but there's only so many times you can hit the snooze button. <laughs> but that's pure core, by the way. That is pure core. No, I've been, I've, I've been doing other things other than that. I joined a fitness studio in my neighborhood. Yeah. And so um, a couple weeks ago, I, uh, I went to a, a hot yoga class. Yeah, I tried hot yoga. It was completely disappointing. The teacher was so not hot. <laughs> But then I tried um, a spinning class. Yeah, and everybody gave me these weird looks when I got off my bike and I started walking beside it. <laughs> well, we were going up a hill. <laughs> and then they laughed at my helmet. Exercising regularly, I think the most important thing to do is to keep it to yourself. <laughs> right? I mean, really. Because let's admit it, unless you like fell off the treadmill and smacked your face or farted in yoga class, <laughs> nobody wants to hear about your workout. <laughs> when you're stressed out, do you ever look like this late at night and in bed? Right, because you're listening to all the things that you're telling yourself. <laughs> right, you're thinking about something that happened in the meeting that day. You're like, oh, that was a disaster. And that was so typical of him. Oh, and of course she defended him. She always does. <laughs> right, you think about something else. You know, think about something else that happened in the day. You'll be like, oh, what did she mean when she said she liked my outfit? Or you just obsessively go through your to-do list, hey? Do you ever just lie there and go through all the things that you gotta do the next day? Right, you gotta go through. You just, oh yeah, gotta do that, gotta do that, gotta do that. And then God forbid, you remember that you have to do something very important the next day, and it's recorded nowhere. 
have you ever had that harrowing moment at three o'clock in the morning? You're like, how the hell is it not on the list? <laughs> you just think about it for a couple hours. Trying to burn it into your brain. So you remember to do it when you get up in the morning or you reach over to your phone and you call yourself at work. <laughs> Have you ever called yourself at work at three o'clock in the morning? <laughs> hi, it's me. <laughs> or you always say, hi, it's me. Well, you don't want to start barking orders at yourself. You get that from enough people during the day. Okay, listen up. If we don't do this today, we're screwed. Okay, have a nice day. Might be the only time you hear it. Okay, bye. Right, you always say hi and bye. You're calling yourself, you're saying hi and bye. <laughs> now, some of you might be sitting there right now going, I don't know what she's going on about. I've never called myself at work. Mm-hmm. I'm emailing myself. <laughs> 